folks, I'm Rush Limbaugh. And I'm A.I. Thompson. Normally the two of us do not see eye to eye. That's right. He's got his eye on the triple deck of cheeseburger. Well, I got my eye on the prize. <laughs> Don't you mean pies? Bean pies, Al? But this time, we are marching to the tune and the rhythm of the same drummer. That's right. We may not have racial harmony, but we do have two-part harmony with Rush, Rush and Al. This album delivers more hits than the Rodney King videotape. Oh, these songs are sung by the immortal Rush Limbaugh and the Hamhock with the Pompadour, Al Sharpton. Oh, that's very funny coming from a man with a booty in the front. Oh. We'll take you down memory lane with our versions of the classics. Just take a listen. But my people have to hang on to the hope of the future. We don't need a daughter hang low. We don't need a daughter cracker. I would be the separation from a hither.
Well, you ain't riding a damn thing. Now look at it. Now let's go. I want to ride the carnival ride. Okay, you can get on the carnival ride. Come on, let's go over to the ticket man. Welcome to Two Flags Over Compton. <laughs> okay, how you doing, Mr. Two Flags? Uh, uh, let me just ask you a question. How much it costs to get on the roller coaster? That's about four bucks. Four bucks to get on a roller coaster? Good Lord, that's a lot of money. How about I give you 88 cents and you let me scream in your ear? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. How much? Let me ask you something. How much? Let me ask you something. How much it costs to get on the bumper car? Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. <laughs> now, how much it costs if I don't bump nobody? Still three dollars. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. How about I give you 97 cents and you let me crash my pinto into you? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How much it costs to get in a haunted house? That's about $6. I'm scared of $6. <laughs> $6, okay. How about I give you 10 cents and you just scream, boo? Or I wish you just leave. Oh. Okay. Uncle Pete, I'd rather ride the Ferris wheel. Okay, okay. Hold your horses, boy. All right? All right? Uh, how much it costs to get on the Ferris wheel? That's about $2. $2? Good Lord. How about I give you 20 cents and you let us spin around to a vomit? Boy, you <laughs> Okay, okay, you get some cotton candy. Uh, how much for the cotton candy? Cotton candy, one dollar. One dollar for cotton candy? Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Now, why should I pay that much money for a sugar-coated afro? <laughs> I want some roasted peanuts. Boy, you want everything. How much they cost for some roasted peanuts? One buck fifty. A buck fifty? How much it cost for unroasted? A buck fifty. Now, how are they going to cost the same amount of money when one don't got no roast on it? <laughs> Okay, you can please have a balloon. This way. How much? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you. How much it cost for a balloon? Two dollars. Two dollars. Now why should I spend two dollars on something I already have? Boy, here's your balloon. Now blow it up. <laughs> Uncle Pete, what does condom mean? Condom means give it back when you're done. <laughs> hey, I ain't know Luther Campbell was in town, huh? Look at all those tanks. I want to do the shooting gallery. Good lord. And the ring talk. Good lord. And the dark throw. Good lord. Don't you like tag? <laughs> tag it. No, I'm not. I want to have fun. Okay, I'll show you some fun. Come on, let's go see this freak show. Step right up, step right up. See the beauty lady. She come through the human bowel. See Lulu, the 600 pound woman. Hey, hey, excuse me, excuse me. How much it costs to see the fat lady? Ah, uh, two dollars. Two dollars for the fat lady. Oprah, come on every day for free. <laughs> You show me a rerun of fear. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna ride on the fair. Wait, where, where you going, boy? You better get. You better get. You better get. Now, where you get some money from? Mama gave me ten dollars. Ten dollars? Good lord, that's a lot of money. Why don't you lend your uncle Pete two dollars so I can get some popcorn? Two dollars? Good lord, that's a lot of money. How about I give you four cents and you go get some cream corn? <laughs> Luma Simmons. <laughs> Ladies, are you stuck in a dead-end job? Do you put in hours and hours for a minimum wage while the executives get rich from your blood, sweat, and tears? I hope so, because I can help you achieve your dreams, and all you have to do is let me harass you. <laughs> the plan is simple. You get me a job at your company. Then let Loomis do the rest. I pinch your Buteus Maximus. I whisper sweet nasties all up and through your earlobes. I even expose myself. But don't worry, it's no bother. Then you file a sexual harassment lawsuit against the company and give Loomis half the money. It's just that simple. Observe, won't you? Mail call for Miss Hooters. Thanks, Lumis. <laughs> oh, how clumsy of me. Would you mind bending over to uh, pick those up? Okay, Loomis. Oh, my, my. 
Look, the peaks of Mount Boutte. Hey, you sexually harassed me. I'm gonna sue this company. Of course, that was just a sample. In reality, this would go on for days and days. But don't take Loomis's word for it. Listen to some of my satisfied customers. Loomis got my ample breasts, and we split $200,000. Thanks, Loomis. Loomis climbed on me at the water cooler and rode me through personnel, and we split $500,000. Thanks, Loomis. Yeehaw! Ride em, cowboy. What you waiting for, girls? Hurry and call now, because I haven't had any in weeks. And if you order now, you will get this. A photocopy of Loomis Behind. So pick up the phone and dial 555 Pinch of Booty. Call now. Loomis is standing by. It's time to make a positive change in your life. So let me harass you. some fun. First, I'm going to teach you how to assemble your weapon. What's that, kids? You say that we did that yesterday? You're damn freaking right we did it yesterday. We're going to do it every freaking day until you freaking get it right. Do you freaking read me, maggots? I said do you freaking read freaking me? That's more like it. This is the way we lock and load, lock and load, lock and load. You better learn to lock and load or you'll wind up choking on your freaking blood in the jungle while Charlie parades around with your buddy's head on a freaking stick. Uh -oh. I wonder who that could be. Let's just check it out. screams of my old foxhole buddy Al Klansky. Hey Al, sorry about the friendly fire. What's the matter with you, you freaking freak? You're lucky I was wearing the freaking flag jacket, Larry. Yeah, well, your lucky old Rosie here wasn't full of Teflon tips. Otherwise, blimmo! Call the bugler. <laughs> so, well, what's the uh, rainy day fun project for today? Today, Larry, we're going to make a Bouncing Betty anti-personnel mine. Outstanding. Let's hump it over to the arts and crafts area, shall we? We learned that in the jungle. Now, Larry, this is real simple. All you kids need is a couple of popsicle sticks, rubber bands, so some need. glue, yep. and the mine. Yeah, remember, kids, glue can be freaking dangerous. So crack a freaking window. No. Hey. You hear that? I could swear I hear choppers, man. I don't hear nothing, Larry. Oh, that's because you got help. But it's time for the rest of us to go to flashback land. You sure you don't want to come? No way, man. I got a bad feeling this one, Larry. <laughs> hey, you guys. How would you like a good old American chocolate bar? <laughs> You know, Al, you were right. It was a bad one. Hey, kids, how's it feel to go to hell and back? 
Oh, come on. School's not that bad. <laughs> hey, come on, Larry. It's time for us to get to work. The mail don't deliver itself, you know. <laughs> I'm buying. <laughs> well, see you kids again tomorrow. Until then, just be glad you weren't born in the early 50s. <laughs> Sometimes your homework don't get done And you catch some flack from mom But the kind of flack that is in my back Is for stepping on a bomb Bang! Sometimes your bedroom's awful dark And the monster's under your bed But there ain't no fear like the fear you feel When the monster's in your bed to meet our players. First, Michelle Lastman. Michelle, welcome to our show. Thank what do you do, you. dear, for a living? Oh, I, I administer enemas to constipated pets, Peter. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Good for you. And continued success. Thank you. Yes. Uh, this gentleman is Alan Stevenson. Alan, welcome to the show. What do you do, that sir? Oh, uh, my name's Alan Stevenson, and I am a test volunteer for prescription drugs in laboratories. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to our show. Yes, now, Alan, uh, you won the Alan, uh, uh, you won the toss backstage, sir. So I want you to pick a star. I would like to begin by taking RuPaul. Oh, take me, Alan. Take me. <laughs> now, RuPaul. Uh, RuPaul, here's the question: In the 1992 movie, The Crying Game. What is the surprise in the crying game? Surprise, Alan? Is this a trick question? There was no surprise in that film. I, 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 uh, I disagree. Good. That's right. The surprise was that the female lead, Dill, turned out to be a man, and X gets the square. Oh, wait, Alan. I knew all along that Dill had a pickle. Michelle, <laughs> quickly pick a star. Yes, I'll take that cute little Urkel kid, please, Peter. Jaleel White. Yes, TV's uh, Urkel. Jaleel. <laughs> If you don't mind my saying it, Jillian, you, you, uh, you don't look so well. Well, you know, I'm going through a messy divorce, Peter. Oh. Never marry a broad you met at a strip club. I see. Well, thank you for that advice. Now, here's your question. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 14. Uh, I disagree. That's good, because Jaleel is actually, on St. Swithin's Day, will be 38. <laughs> Of course, I'm not 14. If you believe that, baby, I've got a timeshare at Florence and Normandy you might be interested in. Well, thank you very much. Circle gets this question. Alan, back to you, sir. Oh, uh, jeez. A lot of geese in here. Yeah. I will take Louis Farrakhan, please. Certainly. Welcome, Minister. Mr. Peter Marsh. <laughs> oh, no. I don't need your claps. I don't need your claps. Mr. Peter Marshall, you can save your breath. Give me an X, uh, X right now, and I will wear it proudly. Well, Minister, we have to ask you a question first, sir. I will not have this, I will not stand for an O to be on this proud black square. See, because the O equals zero. See, it is null and it is void. See, you have to understand that nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Uh -huh. You gotta have something if you wanna be with me. Pal, I'm not going to argue with that. Uh, X gets the square lucky break for you. Could have been a bad break for me. All right? Awesome. Uh, Michelle... Awesome, I'll like him. I'll bust your ass, boy. I will bust his ass. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's move along here. Michelle, uh, pick a star, would you please? Uh, I'll take Michael Dorn for the win. From TV Star Trek, ladies and gentlemen, the next generation, uh, Michael. <laughs> nice to see you, Michael. And I see you're still in your makeup. What makeup do you speak of, white human? 
Uh, never mind. Here's your question, Michael. The Enterprise leaves Rigel 7 at the speed of warp 5. The Klingon destroyer Trog leaves Antares 4 at the speed of warp 6. Now, which craft will reach Deep Space 9 first? Hmm. I will say the Enterprise. The Enterprise. Michelle? I disagree. Correct. Circle gets the square and the game. I have been dishonored. And to a Klingon, honor is all. The only honorable solution is death. <laughs> well, that does it for this uh, session of the East Hollywood Square. Uh, thank you, stars. Thank you, players. See you here next time for more fun on the East Hollywood Square. I said, clean that up. And somebody clean that up. Hey, yo, Jive Records recording artist, Souls of Mischief, singing 93 till infinity. Oakland all up in the house. Yo, what's up, yo? Souls of Mischief in the house. Tasha, A plus fest, no OVO. Yeah. Brothers from the east side, oh, that's Oakland, California, baby. We not no mad, murderous, maniacal type brothers. We just be chilling. So, OVO, why don't you tell me who you call it? Dial the seven digits, call up Bridget. Her man's a midget. Plus, he got fringe, yo, I can dig it. Here's a 40 swig, and you know it's frigid. I got him chilling in the cooler, break out the ruler. Damn! That's the best stoke I ever seen. The weather's keen in Cali getting weed. It makes it feel like mad weed. Now we feel the good vibrations. So many females, so much inspiration. Yo, I get inspired by that stuff, too. I'm front you. If you hang with the wrong crew, I roll the strip for bones to pick When I find one, I'm gonna take her home and quickly do this I need not explain this Hey, what's the famous? Look at the A Hey, miss, who's there? I'm through there, no time to do hair The fix it ain't, so get, get straight right. You look great, let's grow up now We'll rub down some flavor later There's a theater We in the cut, the cinema What's mediocre? Take it to the grip so I can stroke her Kids get broke for their skins when I'm in Whoa. Close range, I throw game at your dip Like handball, cause the man's all oh, that all fat, I'm D to chill from 93 yeah, chill. This is how we chill from 93 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 chill. Oh, yeah. This is how we chill from 93 chill. 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 School's in session when I'm freshin'. Rappin', so I take time off and never rhyme so I'm off on my own trip with my own clip. Roll me the back. They fat stole in blood Holding brunts Holding stunts Captain with Mike Wasana Plus Obama Sass 10 Fools are testing my patience But I stay fresh and Resting at the mall Attendance so annoyed But I'm just shouting for my winter exploits Some new fits Some new kicks I often do this Cause it's the pits that being dipped Flip The fire attire Female's desire yeah. Baby you can step to this 